All right. We have a, another spoon tonight, or today. This time, this is a uh, cherry tasting spoon. This is a bigger bowl here, but this is going to be very shallow. Um, and we're going to get started. So I'm going to use the shave horse. I'm kind of doing that a lot lately. Saves on the wear and tear on my body. <laughs> And it's a little easier, I guess, to do things. So we're just going to start by flattening it out a little bit. This is a this is pretty dry, so it's another reason why I'm glad I'm using the shape horse. So <laughs> I'm going to continue doing that until I feel comfortable with the thickness. And when I have more done, I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So that's what I have so far. Kind of knocked the side, the handles down. I'm going to knock these corners off real quick, and then I'm going to flip over to the shave horse and start working on the pole. So I'm just going to knock some of this off real quick. So I'm going to turn you guys around. That's what we got. Turn you guys around to the shave horse. And we're going to start working with the spoon knife here. And again, this is going to be a shallow... This is like annoying here. What's going on? I'm just going to work on this a little bit.
All right, so I'm going to continue working on this off camera, but that's what we have so far. Just a little impression there. I'm going to go a little bit deeper. And when I have some more done, I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back. And here is the spoon so far. I'm going to go over there on the chair. And I'm going to carve. I'm going to have my headphones on listening to music, so I'm not really going to be talking that much. So, <laughs> um, so I'll do some carving with the knife, and uh, I'll you know cut away when I'm done there. And we'll come back when you're more done, of course. All right, so just did a little bit of uh, hand carving there. Um, that's what we have. It's got a nice slant up the, going up there, and again, the idea behind this spoon is it's going to be basically like a tasting spoon. As you're cooking, uh, you kind of have this to the side, go into your food, little little uh, piece of food there, eat it, taste it. There you go. Instead of uh, you know using something else or, you know, just having something uh, unique to use. So uh, let me, uh, I'll cut away and I'll come back when there's more done. All right. All right, guys. So I think we're, we're done with this spoon. It's not sanded. I'm not going to have time to do that tonight. So you'll have to come to the Trenton Avenue Arts Festival this year <laughs> in Philly to see this spoon or buy it. So there's a side profile. It's 
cool shape. I added this design here and just to play around with it, I don't really know what I was doing. And as it turns out, your finger actually fits in there pretty pretty well. And if you hold it like this and you know if you scoop and then you know use it for a, as a tasting spoon um, or for whatever you're going to use it for, it actually kind of works. So you know, I don't know, kind of cool. Um, slants up, kind of goes up a slight curve there just for maybe comfort, I guess. So it looks pretty plain from the front, but then as you as you look at it, you know, from the side and, and just kind of look at it as a, you know, as maybe as a piece of art, you can kind of see how pretty it really is. Here is the grain. Oh, sorry. Maybe you can see it. It's coming through. Back's actually pretty. So, should look really nice when it's sanded. And uh, I think that's really it. So, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'll catch you on the next one. I'll be probably making, putting out two more videos tomorrow. So, uh, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.